Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina Rodriguez's romantic and luxurious vacation in Mallorca, dear friends. Welcome to my channel. I am Maya. Hope your day is so well. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. A week ago, the family traveled to the Red Sea to enjoy a few days of relaxation. After a long year of work and responsibilities with their little ones, Gio and Cristiano headed to Mallorca to enjoy some privacy as a couple. A few days for mom and dad, Rodriguez wrote on his Instagram profile, along with a carousel of images from their stay on the island. The football player was already a father to a boy, Cristiano Jr. Later on, the couple made the decision to have children through surrogacy. In 2017, they welcomed twins, Eva and Matteo, whose pregnancy coincided with that of Georgina, who gave birth to Alana Martina a few months later. The couple was expecting another set of twins in 2022, but sadly the boy passed away and only Bella Esmeralda survived. Family comes first for them, and they have become one of the most media-covered families on the planet. Dorkina and Cristiano met in 2016 when the player visited a Gucci store in Madrid where she worked as a shop assistant. The rest is history. They have become one of the most stable couples in today's football scene. They often share their daily lives on social media, showcasing their love and the large family they have built together. The rest was short-lived, as in the last few hours the model and influencer has shared a new post on Instagram, in which both appear in Madrid, enjoying a spectacular Rolls Royce through the city streets. She has also shown her workout routines and their spectacular home in the capital, where they also have a very comfortable pool. The couple enjoyed a few days at sea on a spectacular yacht that had everything they could possibly need. In fact, the vessel is valued at nearly 6 million euros and was purchased by the footballer in 2020. As for its layout, it features four cabins, five bathrooms, and an outdoor bar. During their time on board, Georgina and Cristiano enjoyed riding motorized surfboards, swimming in the sea, and even found time to work out in a gym. It's no secret. Georgina Rodriguez and Cristiano Ronaldo spare no expense. The couple who form one of the most solid relationships in the current celebrity scene, often indulge in the most expensive luxuries and social media bears witness to this. Their life is full of luxury and their summer vacations could not be any different. After a family vacation, the footballer and the businesswoman decided to head to Mallorca to enjoy a few days of privacy as a couple, without their little ones. Cristiano Ronaldo shares glimpse of Al Nasser training. Back where I belong, Portuguese footballer is practicing with Al Nasser ahead of the new season. The 39-year-old soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo has officially resumed his training with Saudi club Al Nasser after the UEFA European Championship. The Portuguese star, who has been spending time with family after the Euro 2024, joined his Al Nasser mates in training ahead of the Saudi Pro League 2024 to 2025. Ronaldo shared pictures of his intense training session with the club on his Instagram, with the caption, Back where I belong. Football fans are excited to watch CR7 back on the ground after his struggling performance in the European Championship. A user wrote, can't wait to watch again, while the other commented, welcome back, boss. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner has shown impressive performance in the last season of the Saudi Pro League. Across all completions last season, the soccer legend scored 44 goals in 45 matches, Transfermarkt reported. Ronaldo also won the player of the season 20,000, 234 to 24 award and the Rush Saudi League Top Soccer Award. Shock Cristiano Ronaldo to Chelsea transfer touted as ex star Lament's goal problem should Chelsea have moved for the Portuguese superstar when he left Manchester United. Former Chelsea defender William Gallus believes his old team should have signed Cristiano Ronaldo before the Portuguese icon headed to Saudi Arabia two years ago. Ronaldo saw his second Manchester United spell end in acrimonious fashion after just 14 months in November 2022, 
when a falling out with manager Eric Ten Hag resulted in his contract being terminated. After being linked with a number of clubs, including Chelsea, Ronaldo opted to join Al Nasser at the end of the year. Ronaldo has regularly found the back of the net in the Saudi Pro League, scoring 49 times in 47 games, while Chelsea, meanwhile, have struggled to find themselves a reliable forward in front of goal. Since then, with the likes of Christopher Nkunku and Nicholas Jackson still adapting to the Premier League, Gallus now believes that had things gone differently, Ronaldo could have been a success at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea had a great opportunity to sign Cristiano Ronaldo, but they missed out, Gallus told Genting Casino. Two years ago, it would have been great for the club, but now he's 39 and the intensity of the Premier League would be too much for him. Gallus' point was perhaps backed up by Ronaldo's appearances at this summer's Euro 2024, where he failed to score despite starting all of Portugal's games in Germany. His 23 shots in the tournament were the most by any player who failed to score, casting doubts on the former Real Madrid and Juventus man's future in the international game. Chelsea have added promising striker Mark Cugu to their bloated squad this summer and are still being linked with a number of new strikers, including Napoli's Victor Ozeman. Chelsea had a great opportunity to sign Cristiano Ronaldo ex Blue star, makes bold claim on former club missing out on Al Nasser superstar, former Chelsea defender William Gallus believes the Blues missed out on the opportunity to sign Cristiano Ronaldo a couple of years ago. The 39-year-old joined Al Nasser in January 2023 after having his contract mutually terminated at Manchester United. Gallus claims that this would have been an ideal time to snap up the services of the Portugal international. There were concerns that Ronaldo's form wasn't the greatest at the time, with the five-time Ballon d'Or winner netting just once in 10 Premier League appearances in the 2022-23 season. Regardless, the ex-Blues man claims that signing the former Real Madrid striker would have made a difference at Stamford Bridge. Gallus' comments seem reasonable after Ronaldo has shown that he can still find the back of the net with regularity. In the 2023-24 campaign, he made 45 appearances across competitions for his current employers, bagging 44 goals and 13 assists. Chelsea have struggled to find the perfect number 9 in recent times. Nicholas Jackson has failed to live to expectations, while Armando Broja is yet to come of age. Going into the new Premier League season, they could choose to deploy Christopher Nkunku in the position as well. Wayne Rooney says Chelsea target reminds him of Cristiano Ronaldo Manchester United legend Wayne Rooney, believes Chelsea and Arsenal target Nico Williams reminds him of a young Cristiano Ronaldo. The Spain international is also being chased by Barcelona this summer. Williams was brilliant at Euro 2024, bagging two goals and an assist, helping La Rota claim the trophy at the end. Williams made 37 appearances across competitions for Athletic Bilbao, bagging 8 goals and 19 assists. He has three years left on his current deal, 